So, I just want to show you guys two things I had done today. Besides my steering wheel, my quick release. I got the new one there, the old one underneath. But uh, there should be another video up of that one on its own. So, I just want to do a little. This is my engine bay. I'm sure you've seen it many times, probably. Um, the last big install I did was the strut towers and the sub system, the subwoofer, and the capacitor and the fuse here. Uh, I got two new things put on the car today. One of them is this, the agency power pitch stop mount. Um, I like it. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if it's my imagination, but the car feels a, kind of like a different car now. Because it is supposed to help with the shifting and all that, but... You definitely can hear the car crank over on start, you know, run, 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 run. you can really hear it now. And um, this one's very hard to see, but I've had the Grim Speed uh, Master Cylinder Brace in my possession for a long time, but was yet to install it, so it got installed today. That's actually the end of it right there that's pressing against the Master Cylinder. Uh, it's it's There's the bracket, that black thing right there. It's really hard to see. I don't even know if you can see the Groom Speed logo because it's in it's in white, but it's very hard to see. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably not gonna have any luck there. Once we delete the air pump here, then it'll probably be a lot easier to see. But uh, trust me, it's there. So yeah, thank you to Alex for that, and thank you to Andy for messing with my quick release steering wheel and popping it on there for me. And that is it. I still I still have my build going. I still plan on doing full motor build, mark polished everything, crazy, crazy build. But uh it just it takes time and I I need to buy new parts. The the radiator I had bought, I'm not gonna go with that, I'm gonna go with something else. And the injectors I had bought, I'm not gonna go with those either, I'm gonna go with something else. So I need to come up with new injector, new radiator, and then I need to come up with new turbo hot side. I need to create a downpipe, I think, and then I need to get a different up pipe. Because my turbo hot side is going to be V-band, so I need all those V-band and rotated. Uh, and then I need like $1,200 in white line suspension and God knows whatever else I need. So build, fortunately, is going to take longer. But um, my valve buckets have come back from micro-polishing, so that's done. Uh, once my heads get done, I mean, everything for the valve train and all that's ready to go. Uh, except for the, the half-inch head studs, the 13 millimeters. Uh, the heads need to be prepped so that they can fit. And then my short block also needs to be, was it, honed out to 9975. It needs to be torque-plated and all that and, and fixed to, to work good. And then also has to be rigged up so it can also support the half inch head studs, the 13 millimeters. Because I am going to be running those, the, a, the a, ARP 13 millimeter head studs. And those are like $500 just for the head studs and the, and the nuts. So it's pretty expensive, but you know, it'll help from uh, my heads lifting off my motor. So you know, it can run boost more safely and all that. And uh, yeah, I mean, my. God, my build has changed so much. I was just going to do a turbo upgraded from the start and the sporting mods. Now I'm doing freaking crazy fully forged and micro polished everything build with custom intake manifold, custom turbo, custom intercooler piping. I mean, you name it, it's probably done or going to get done. So bear with me. It will get built. <laughs> and when it is finally built, I'll be able to pay it all off right then and there. And the car's already paid off. And everything, so this is mine. There's many like it, but this one is mine. <laughs> All right, I'll catch you guys later.